All right, we have a lot of stuff to get into. So guys, before we get into today's video, I really just want to give a huge thanks to everyone who's been recently checking out my channel, but also for those who've been checking out the new Canon EOS R5C video and also the new PC build. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people have been clicking into those videos and also leaving a lot of comments. Um, again, you guys are leaving some great comments, some great responses, so thank you guys so much for that. And uh, for those who want an update on the Canon EOS R5C, um, the EOS R5C finally has its new first firmware update. It's not a huge update. Um, but it is a slight firmware update for its autofocusing, so now the autofocus should be slightly faster. Um, I don't think it's anything super massive, but I feel like Canon is slowly starting to roll out uh, firmware updates. Like again, Canon is doing a lot of stuff right now. Like right now they just announced the new APS-C cameras. So we have the EOS R7 and we also have the EOS R10. So again, Canon is coming out with a lot of new cameras right now. Again, the EOS R5C, not much has changed from my first impression of it, but I'm sure slowly and slowly they'll be adding uh, some future firmware updates to make it a bit better and a bit faster and kind of give us those features that we've been looking for with this camera. And for those who are still curious about my PC build, if there's any updates to it, uh, one huge update is that I actually did swap out the graphic cards. So originally, as you guys know, I had the Gigabyte 3090 and then I swapped it to the Founders Edition 3090, but now I actually swapped out the Founders Edition 3090 to the Asus Rogue Strix. It is the White Edition 3090. So not only is it gonna match up with the motherboard and also the power supply, but the biggest reason of why I decided to swap out the Founders Edition card wasn't necessarily because of the aesthetic reason, but it was really because of the thermal uh, temperatures that I was getting on the GPU because honestly, even when the GPU was in idle, like it was just getting really, really hot to the point where I would have to shut down my workstation and just get out of my room. So the biggest reason is purely just because like it got really, really hot. And now getting that out of the way, there is still a lot of stuff to compact within this video. So finally, sophomore year is done. There's a lot of announcements in this video, as you guys can tell where we're recording is very new, but we'll get into that in a minute. First things first. Ah, is this guy right here. So, uh, yeah, surprisingly, I got a email from the folks over at Meepo Board and uh, they wanted to see and reached out to me if I wanted to make a video for them talking about the Meepo Mini 2, the extended range model. So, uh, yeah, this was honestly kind of a surprise that came into my mail. So let's talk about this board. So today is in fact May 6th and we actually got something really cool in the mail. I had no idea this was actually gonna be showing up, but I'm gonna be showing it to you guys what it is, testing it out, because obviously I have to go outside to use this product, and uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've had a product like this, so it's gonna be interesting. So this is the Meepo Mini 2. This is the ER version, so this is the extended range, uh, which means that you are getting a bit more uh, battery life out of this guy, and a bit more mileage. I think you're getting like maybe five to almost maybe 10 more miles more than the original. This thing can go up to like 28 miles per hour. This thing is gonna be fast, it's tiny, it's portable. But again, it has been a while since I've ridden an electric skateboard, so I'm just gonna go on the medium speed, and then of course, once I feel a bit more comfortable, I'll go on the higher speed. But yeah, I'm just gonna get into riding, so let's send it. This is honestly such a nice place to just ride electric skateboards since there's honestly a lot of nice uh, bike pads which obviously you can use for skateboarding as well. But so far when it comes to Insta360 1X2, honestly the interface on it is really really simple, really easy to use. If you guys do want to get to more advanced features like working with log footage and you know HDR, all those kind of things, then you're going to want to connect the camera to the app on your iPhone or your Android. 
And of course, when it comes to the Meepo Mini 2 extended range model, um, for most uh, electric skateboards, not really electric longboards, but skateboards particularly, um, it is a bit more of a not smooth ride, um, since it can be a bit more jerkier and you do feel a bit more of the vibrations within your legs. However, this particular board does have 90 millimeter wheels, which makes the ride a bit more uh, comfortable while you're riding it. So far, both of these products are really good. And again, we're just gonna continue riding and get a feel for both of the 360 camera and the board. So let's just keep cruising around here. So some thoughts with the Meepo Mini 2 is that honestly this board is really really nice just as an all around uh, board because one it is quite a bit more portable than an electric longboard. Um, for those that have had electric longboards you guys know the ease of use of smaller boards and it's just more portable. Now when it comes to the battery I guess some of the main downsides is that you won't be able to take this on planes or any flights with you and also you can't really swap out the batteries. but especially since you are getting 20 miles worth of range and speeds up to like 28 miles per hour. I think it is worth kind of just taking that flushed in battery. And honestly, just a huge shout out to Meepo for just setting out this board because it's been about like a good four years since I've ridden a skateboard. And obviously besides the electric skateboard, we do have our other product right here, which is indeed the Insta360 One X2. All right guys, so right now we are in the new editing den. Um, if you guys remember in my previous videos, I generally film uh, in my bedroom, that'd be my editing den. So now this is gonna be kind of like the new normal. Um, but yeah, so now we are going to be taking a look at the Insta360 One X2. So as you guys can see, this is kind of the clip that we have it, and you can pretty much just rotate it in any way you want. You can even, you know, scale out and it'll kind of turn into a bubble, or you can kind of zoom in and you can definitely see all the grain. So definitely the more you zoom in, the more grain that kind of appears and it becomes more noticeable. So I'd say I just recommend to kind of keep it in a wide setting so that way it's not going to pick up a whole lot of grain in the image. You can also just do your own uh, personalized way of tracking certain angles on it, as you guys can tell. But a really cool thing about the Insta360 Studio is that you can literally uh, drag, you know, your, you can pretty much drag anywhere on the timeline and just hit the deep tracking, or you can do Control T, and then kind of just find out whatever you want to track. So obviously you have me and the Meepo Mini, and then we'll click start tracking. And then from whatever point your cursor was at, it will pretty much- And also getting into that studio software is just really simple, really easy to use. And obviously I like to do all of my corrections within that studio and then export it and then do all my color correction and obviously putting it within the final product of the video. So again, this Insta360 One X2, definitely stay tuned on my channel because there's gonna be a lot more footage from this. So now that we have the products out of the way, now we can finally get into news that I wanna share. So there are a couple of things that I wanna share with you guys. And the first biggest thing, as you guys can tell with the new set and the other set in the other room, we finally moved into a new place. Um, again, this has been like a really, really big thing for quite some time. It's very nostalgic, kind of just taking all of that stuff out and really just, you know, trying to thank the past 20 years that I've stayed in that place. And now finally moving to a new place where again, it's, it's a bit new, still kind of getting used to it, but honestly, just really thankful that at least now there's a lot more space. That's another huge thing that I wanted to talk about with you guys is that now I actually have my own studio space, my own studio room. It's not completely gonna be a studio room. It's gonna be like kind of like a bonus room for both my parents and a studio room for myself. Um, but it is such a crucial and such a huge thing because previously in the previous house, um, if you guys remember that set where I was making my PC build video and a lot of my uh, videos in the garage, um, you know, it was really difficult because we would have to set up that entire backdrop, which means that I'd have to get the tripods up, I'd have to get like a pole. While I'm doing all that stuff, I'm losing so much of my energy that by the time that I'm on camera, like I already lose so much of my time, so much of my energy, and I'm kind of just depleted as is, so I don't really have that energy to bring on camera. And then as soon as I'm done with the video, I have to unpack the backdrop, I have to take the sheet off. Me and my dad have to bring the desk all the way back upstairs. I have to disassemble the lights, disassemble the audio, disassemble the camera. And again, like every single time that I wanted to make a video, especially in that garage, like every single thing, I would have to set it up before I make my video. And then after I make my video, I have to immediately take it down. Cause again, that garage is very much in use. Both the cars are parked in there. So like, again, it's just, like it really just means so much to me that at least my parents were you know kind enough and also to be able to make this really cool slat wall huge shout out to becky and chris for those who also watch them uh, for kind of giving that idea for the slat wall i'm really really liking it especially just that matte black it looks really cool and i'm really vibing with it so honestly huge shout out to my parents um it, it really does mean a lot because especially the amount of time and effort that i put into making my videos it just uh 
it's, it's really nice. It's really kind and uh, it's very generous of them to be able to kind of give me a bit more of a space to really, you know, make these videos. So again, a lot of stuff is happening within my own life. Again, with this YouTube channel, again, we do have quite a few more videos coming up within the next few months. There is one particular video in probably towards the end of July, early August that I'm very excited to make. I hope you guys are also excited for that video as well. Um, I don't want to give any spoilers for what it is, but uh, it's going to be a really, really cool video that I've been honestly been wanting to make for a couple of years. So if you guys are interested in that video, definitely stay tuned. Again, a lot of stuff to unpack, but really excited where this next journey is going to take me. Um, but also, again, for the people who have recently just joined and been watching the past couple of videos, again, huge shout out to you guys. Really, really thankful. Um, again, it's just been very difficult, especially being a full-time college student and obviously trying to get some high quality videos for you guys and obviously some quality videos that you guys definitely do care about. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. But like also for real though, like what do you guys think about the new set? Like I am really liking it. As you guys can mention that I got these two lights next to me, so I'm very curious. Let me know what you guys think. All right, peace for real though. See ya.